Welcome back to Lexus after the game. We told you at the top of the show how Oregon State's Quiz Rogers had a career day against Stanford last year. Of course, the Cardinal kept him in check today. Similar storyline with Cal and Washington last year. Husky quarterback Jake Locker had one of his better games, 248 passing, three touchdowns in the air. Uh, he also rushed for 90 yards, scored two more touchdowns on the ground as UW blasted Cal in Seattle, 42 to 10. Jake Locker, by the way, a guy who could have come out and didn't. He lost a lot of money. Yeah. And the Huskies in need of a win like Cal to keep their bowl eligibility hopes alive. As for Cal, a win, they're bowl eligible for the eighth straight season. Right, and this game was just uh. agony for Cal fans. <laughs> Memorial Stadium, built back in 1923, set to undergo massive renovations, reopening for the 2012 season. Sparse crowd today, weather a big factor. Jeff Tedford had never had a losing season at Cal. No sugarcoating it. This was ugly, ugly first half. I mean, Brock Mansion on the sack there by Samisi Tokolahi. Then it's Cal Gating getting to Jake Locker. I just like seeing it like that. Michael Kendricks, the sack. Must be from Hawaii. Yeah. Into the first quarter, Manchin to Keenan Allen. He was the clear focus of the offense today. A gain of 21, but the drive would stall. We move to the second quarter. Husky football. Not for long. Jesse Collier bobbles the handoff. Little hot potato action. G DJ Holt jumps on it for the Cal recovery. After some conservative play calling in the opening quarter, Jeff Tedford lets his quarterback test the secondary. Quentin Richardson, the cue with the pick. Richardson's given up some big plays this year, I'm telling you. And uh, Tedford goes right at it for the best receiver, and Marvin Jones Richardson just makes a good play. First and ten for UW at the Cal 35. Jake Locker gives it right back. Picked off by Mark Anthony. Locker's draft stock, as we mentioned, has definitely taken a tumble. as because of plays like this. Just 54 yards passing in the first half for Locker. All right, 14 seconds to go here. Manchin steps up, finds Keenan Allen on the sideline for a gain of 22. Next play, Manchin looks right, then back to his left. Ball delivered on time to Michael Calvin to the Husky 37. One second left bring on Giorgio Tavecchio from 53. Remember, he missed the chip shot at Oregon. They would have won that game. From 53, he makes it. Yeah. From 29, he couldn't. 53 is good. Cal takes a 3-0 lead at halftime. Oh, a thriller, I want to tell you. All right, uh, to the second it gets half. It's better. It, it, the highlights are a lot better, truly. Uh, Locker throwing deep for DeAndre Goodwin. Look at his arm strength here. And this is just a great play by a receiver. Tips it to himself and wins the wrestling match with Mark Anthony. 80 yards for the score. Huskies up 7-3. Just a great play by Goodwin. Holds off Anthony with his left hand. Tips it up with his right. Turns around and makes the play. That's what all great receivers do. Cal's offense uh, not doing much. Defense has to make a play. Mike Muhammad strips Locker. Cameron Jordan says, thank you very much. I'll take that. Touchdown, Cal back on top 10-7. All right, football, you always hear about wrapping up when you tackle. Muhammad offers a clinic on wrapping up. And fellow senior Cam Jordan, the beneficiary, takes it to the house. All right, on the ensuing kickoff, though, freshman Jesse Callier from the three-yard line cuts it to the outside. Well, runs over a guy, still on his feet, a face, face mask. mask not called, a return of 55 yards, so UW got the momentum back. All right, that defender he shrugged off was Giorgio Tavecchio. Oh. It was the Mini Cooper run over by a Mack <laughs> truck. <laughs> Gallagher's return set up a 37-yard field goal attempt by Eric Folk. Up and good. We're tied at 10, heading to the fourth quarter. Cal runs their version of the Wildcat. They call it the crazy, the crazy <laughs> formation. 11 yards here for Keenan Allen. 60 yards rushing on the day, 46 receiving. Tavecchio, he can't tackle, but he can kick from 46, and that is good. 47 yards this time. He nails it again, and Jeff Tedford loving it. All right, 13-10 Bears. Locker and the Huskies, one final drive. Up top to Jermaine Purse. Oh, oh, nice to go get Schumann-esque. It's just a great throw and catch there. You put it where they were, only the receiver can get it, and he does just that. Look at that. Just great hands, brings it in, has control. Shows that official, I got it. I right. got it. Huskies get to the one. No gain on second down. They're stuffed again on third down. Steve Sarkeesian calls one final timeout, and he says, you know what? I'm not going conservative. I'm not kicking a field. We're going to win this game right now. Hand off Chris Polk into the end zone as time expires. Wow. Final play at the old stadium before they uh, bring the wrecking ball in. 16-13 Huskies. So a win next week over Washington State in the Apple Cup and they will become bowl eligible. The loss ends Cal's season. No bowl 
They finished five and seven. Jeff Tedford's first losing campaign in nine years in Berkeley. To the numbers, Brock Mansion goes 12 for 23, 92 yards passing, the one pick. Shane Vereen at what might have been his final game at Cal. I haven't really talked much about his situation. Yeah. A quiet 106 yards on the ground. The Bears finish five and seven overall, three and six in the Pac-10. Final numbers, count more yards on the ground. Locker and the Huskies a better day through the air thanks to two huge pass plays. And Cal wins the turnover battle by a count of three to one. Normally, you're going to win those games. In their final game at the old Memorial Stadium, 87 years, Cal loses on the final play. As expected, a very somber locker room afterwards. Uh, obviously, today was, uh, was the first time we've been in this situation here in nine years to come down to the last game. And so it's very disappointing. This is not acceptable to us as coaches. It's not acceptable to the players. And, um, you know, we will dedicate ourselves to, to work our hardest to, to bounce back. It's kind of sucks to go out, uh, you know, the last game. Uh, as much tradition and history has been in the stadium to go out, you know, by three points. But, um, you know, hopefully the guys uh, build off this season, man, and come back next year with some, with some vengeance. First time in, in my career to not have a bowl game, at least uh, collegiate-wise, um, yeah, that means it's the end of my of my senior season. It's the end of my career at Cal, and uh, hopefully I get an opportunity to uh, to go on to the next level. Well, kind of a somber day for yeah. Cal and, and with the end of the stadium as well, with all the memories there. Uh, one thing I think is safe to say, Jeff Tedford in this offseason, he is going to be scouring junior colleges and looking at every DVD, every VHS, and every YouTube clip of, of junior college quarterbacks because they need the quarterback position to play better than that. Now, obviously, if Kevin Riley's there, it's a whole different story. They probably win this game. They probably go to a bowl game. But still... Cal at what, five and seven, six and six, seven and five, whatever it is, uh, Jeff has built the program up to a point where that's no longer acceptable. They want, at Cal, they want to compete with the top of the division. They want to compete with the Oregons and the SCs and whoever's, and Stanford now, whoever's going to be up there. They've got to get better quarterback play. I hope Shane Vereen comes back and has a big senior year. Right. I'd love to see him go out. He's a junior. He could leave early. And, you know, we talked all about luck and Harbaugh and all this. But Shane Vereen, likewise, has got to be looking at this situation going, hmm. Maybe I take my chances in the draft. Do I, you know, I don't know who's going to play quarterback. Well, the running back, I think you'd take a chance because you're going to get injured. Uh, but this is Tedford's first losing season at Cal. He's been to seven straight bowl games. His success was instrumental in getting the stadium and new facilities built. I don't see how the university can sever ties no. with him, number one, because what it would just mention, and it would cost the school too much for a buyout and a new coach. So I think Jeff Tedford will be back to and appreciate that they'll play at AT&T Park next year, right. back at Memorial Stadium the following year. But uh, you're right he has got to find a quarterback he stuck by Brock Mansion which kind of has surprised me but they've got to find somebody and like you said if you're Shane you're watching this kid play the last two or three games you're like Maybe I'll go you know to the NFL. In his defense, he's got a strong arm. Right. He has a very strong arm. He's got the tools, arm. you know, and he hasn't played in three years, right. you know, so. So it's not all, I, it's I, not I like don't mean to blame and, him, yeah, but yeah, yeah. they need, but whoever it's going to be, whether right. it's Bo Sweeney or whether it's Manchin or it's a junior college right. kid or some, you know, freshman from out of nowhere that, whose name we don't even know yet, that position has to play better. And Jeff might need to open up his offense a little bit. You see him play against Oregon, for instance, it almost looks antiquated, the offense he's running. Still uses two tight ends, two running backs, so. He might want to open it up a little bit at the college level, but it depends on the quarterback he gets. Yeah. You, so. you want to sit down and drop some pistol plays? Yeah. Pistol? Yes, you know, we're going to break out the pistol. Or for Nevada. Yeah. yeah. All right.